the same way you got up and said why am I prayerless you do not know that it's a prophecy that a prophet will rise from the east a prophet will rise from the west a prophet will rise from the north the season of the fulfillment of ancient prophecies this is what God told me the season of the fulfillment of ancient prophecies prophecies from scripture and prophecies from modern history there are few of these mighty men we know who died without leaving a prophecy some of us have not found the prophecies but some of these men under the unction of the spirit especially around their final days on earth they immortalize their impact by leaving certain prophecies the things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning, so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. Hallelujah. There are great men and women who left very serious prophecies across several denominations. Some of them could not speak English, but they still spoke. They documented their writings. For the generation that is coming some of them this some of these these prophecies were harbingers they were signposts warnings cautions some of them were encouragements some of them they were revelations of prophetic blueprints pitfalls to jump when you got to that level it's important that we obtain grace first from scripture and then the wisdom of the ancient God is empowering those prophetic words for some of them those prophetic words are hundreds of years old but they will still come to pass for instance the prophecy about the revival that is happening across the nations don't you think a group of men were just teared and just had fire like that don't you think the prophecy about Nigeria has been there before some of us were born hallelujah I remember a group of people who a man I, I met one time and they left a prophetic word they were praying there's a song it is raining all around me you know that song now I can hear the latter rain now hold on do you know what brought about that song it was in the place of prayer it was a prophetic word for a generation that's how that song came Give us more rain until we are wet and we are soaked in the latter rain. There are many songs you have been singing. You call them hymns, but they are prophecies. They contain codes within them that will be unlocked in this season. Many of you, one of these nights, you will go to sleep as usual, except that in your sleep, you will wake up and you will not be the same person who went to sleep. And God would say, you have finally found it. That when these fathers were prophesying, they spoke and it concerned you through the loins of time. And it is time for you to walk in partnership with that prophecy. It was true that Emmanuel would come from a virgin. But there was no name Mary that was mentioned. A woman aligned herself with prophecy. If Mary rejected it, the Holy Ghost would have gone to look for another virgin. Only God knows how many prophecies are hovering around right now. The prophecy about the restoration of the healing mantle. Kenneth Copeland spoke it. R.W. Schambach spoke it. These are, these are the many that I know. These men spoke it that there will be a prophetic renaissance of the authentic healing ministry. In the similitude of the tent meetings that used to happen in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. But all prophecies are fulfilled through the hands of men. So somebody will get up one day and begin to sense in your heart to study the materials of Charles and Francis Hunter. You don't even know what is leading you. You are, you are seeing a grace is lead. You see, let me tell you something about mantles. When, when a mantle is looking for you, your life stops being normal. There is an energy and a hunger that makes you strange, almost like a madman. When others are sleeping, you are awake. You do not know by what impulse you are kept. You try to sleep, sleep will be taken away from you because the destinies connected to your obedience will not allow you sleep. Hallelujah. Only God knows how many prophecies 
and you see no matter how long a prophetic word stays unfulfilled a time will always come you would think Jesus will never appear even after 400 years from Malachi to Matthew theologically speaking there was no mention of God no nothing it was supposed to supposedly a dark age in the history of the church from Malachi to Matthew 400 years thereabout you would think he would not come suddenly a madman just shows up from nowhere filled with the Holy Ghost from his, mo his mother's womb coming in the spirit and the power of Elijah found himself in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey you will say thank God this madman is in the wilderness this kind of man should not come into the city yet that was the man who was look at the way this guy's life was literally sacrificed he had not a normal life simply because he was the one to ordain Jesus and then one day do you know that Jesus was not the only one who was born the day he was born he had birthday mates yet they were not the Savior and then this young boy is born and Mary had no idea she just knew an angel said this man and you know she just felt one of those prophets and Jesus grew in wisdom statue and favor with God and with men became a mighty man indeed the Savior listen ladies and gentlemen please hear me there are many prophecies you see the manifestation of the diverse graces that are in Nigeria the manifestation of the graces in Africa God in 2005 I had a vision and in that vision I saw young Asians Asians fair skinned Asians fire came from heaven and rested upon just one of them and then it started spreading like a candle and it moved until it spread across those people and the Holy Ghost told me that there will be such a move of the Spirit in Asia and then in another vision the Lord began to speak to me that Africa that rejected stone you see that that rejected stone please listen carefully and I have taught on this many many times that rejected stone that Africa will herald Jesus Christ the continents Europe has been given their chance to herald Jesus America has been given their chance to herald Jesus but Africa that rejected stone when that prophecy came many of us were not born but the prophecy was still there still hovering around and now one by one there are people being handpicked from the south of Nigeria from the north of Nigeria you will see one person maybe from Borno Maiduguri not even having any comeliness yet the prophecy will land on him you will see another Yoruba man or woman minding their business the prophecy will land you will see another person whose grandfather supported missionaries and God will say no in this prophetic formation I must honor this family and the grace will land upon them it will come to the middle belt and hand pick a few people this is what is happening and then it is spreading to Africa my God Ghana Kenya Uganda South Africa Rwanda ordinary men some of you may not know what is driving you I am telling you now there is zeal without knowledge but there is prophecy seeking fulfillment when the prophet said by this time tomorrow the four lepers were not there to hear it one morning they just could not sit down again they said why sit we here the same way you got up and said why am I prayerless you do not know that it's a prophecy that a prophet will rise from the east a prophet will rise from the west a prophet will rise from the north it is that prophetic word that has now created a dissatisfaction within your spirit I am sure that when the prophet spoke in the loins of time and prophecy will come to land upon a minister do sin and raise him up and give him songs rest upon a Nathaniel Bassi and you see you just when you look at men you just think these people are uniquely distinct by an election of grace yes but let me tell you the truth when you align with prophecy you will find yourself looking like someone in scripture they have taught you you have to see a parallel of your life in future in the scripture there are men and women who you will look at your life and see that this is Esther forming this is Elijah forming this is John forming this is Peter forming 
because mantles never leave the earth no it is only human bodies that live so there are many mantles no mantle in scripture today is in heaven no when mantles come they do not go back again mantles maintain the continuity of God's program ah only God knows who TL Osborne's mantle is still looking for only God knows who's Catherine Kuhlman's mantle is still looking for it, no it does listen 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 just because the mantle fell on a white man or a white woman no it does not mean it must no God does not work like that Charles and Francis Hunter they have gone to be with the Lord but only God knows who will carry their mantles you see the truth is that you cannot confuse mantles you can know that this is a, they, they looked at Elisha and they said the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha and the mantles are many oh, don't think there are just a few people no there are many 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 mantles the mantles that were upon Solomon that granted them access to wealth and riches I know that one of these days that mantle will find somebody the, I'm telling you this is not just the issue of financial prosperity this is commanding dominion over resources for nations but you see you have one assignment to prepare yourself like Mary to say be it unto me according to your word be it unto my destiny according to your word let's finish up so that we can pray my goodness I'm seeing a boiling pot just a pot boiling with water this is what I'm seeing Harato Shalika Fariata number three a season of the fulfillment of ancient prophecy